Well, this morning I only have a couple of little ideas before I turn it over to uh, our youth, those who have been on our mission trip. And these were things that I was thinking about during the week as I was following the blog posts of our youth and uh, their progress and fun that they're having. Uh, just thinking about what mission work does, how that affects us. And I remember a conference I attended down in Arizona. They were speaking about this church in the Northwest. You've heard me perhaps give this example before. This church that every year sent some of its congregation on a global mission trip. And that was their thing. You know, that was something the whole congregation was behind. And they found out that as they returned, these folks were coming back from far away, filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with passion and new ideas, and ready to work in the local context. Often the question or the criticism was, well, why do they have to go away? You know, we go every year to you know, Timbuktu or wherever. Why can't they do it right here? Well, the truth was that it was because of going to Timbuktu that they came back ready to work right here. Sometimes we need to expand our context to think about our local world. And the other example was one uh, from a sermon I preached in California. See, I grew up in Florida, around that environment there, and some of the mission needs of Florida were fresh on my mind. But of course, in California, they have those needs as well. What I was speaking of in California was telling the story of the fern pickers in Florida. I've told this story here as well. And that is the folks who spend all day bent over, manually cutting ferns. They can't be mechanically harvested. They have to be cut by hand for the floral industry. If you've ever bought a floral arrangement and it has a piece of fern in it, you might think, oh, that comes right out here in the woods. Probably comes from Volusia County, Florida, where uh, 80 to 90 percent of the ferns in the U.S. Uh, flower arrangements come from. So they, at that time, 20 years ago now, uh, probably hasn't changed that much. We're getting 18 cents for every 25 ferns they picked. And so I made a little gift of a little card that had a piece of fern and 18 cents laminated to it for all of the kids in the church to take home. And I talked about the plight of the undocumented workers there who came up, who were essentially uh, forced into servitude. If you don't like the working conditions, you can always go home. Or you can stay and make 18 cents you know, for every 25 ferns you pick. And so folks got a little upset about this. Not the least because it was a hot-button topic. Um, but more than that because, well, one of them caught me after church and said, Pastor, you told us all about Florida. Why didn't you tell us about California? We've got the same kind of things here. Let's just look out in the Coachella Valley. Look up in the Central Valley. We've got folks picking heads of lettuce and... You know, we've got these problems too. I said, it sounds like I didn't have to tell you about our problems, did it? It's only because we talked about something far away that what was close to home became relevant. So I, I've experienced that as well on, on mission trips in which I have served. A trip we took to Mexico. We went down to Mexico and put beans and rice in leftover plastic bags. Not even the whole plastic bag, just a part of a plastic bag. The other part had holes in it, and they had cut it off. And so they had just a corner of a plastic bag, and they would put a rubber band or a twist tie around it and hand it out for a family for a week. These sort of experiences touch us in ways uh, that maybe you understand, having been abroad, seeing a different culture. Even if it's not one that lives in abject poverty, you still come home grateful for, well, maybe it's the toilet instead of the hole in the ground, or maybe it's the shower, or maybe it's the fact that you can go into a restaurant and order ice in your drink and they know what you're talking about. You know, whatever it may be, sometimes those faraway experiences bring us closer to home. So our youth have had a faraway experience. It's one that they've done before, but every experience is always new because every group is always different. And so I'm excited to hear uh, what our group has to offer this year from some of the experiences they've had.
So let me invite forward, ah, here comes the rest, Sarah and the rest of the youth. And here's a few coming in the door right now. Let them know it's time. 